Welcome to another exciting edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And if it's Saturday, it must be Bolo Day. Yeah, I guess it's Saturday. There you go. Uh, basically, every Saturday we try to give you some things that you can find when you're out there, some insight into stuff, tell you why it's sold, funny stories behind it, et cetera, et cetera. I try to help you. I tend to find the things. I'm Paper Guy, by the way. Uh, I tend to find things at estate sales, church sales, flea markets, things like that. Uh, my partner here is Mr. Magazine, and he tends to have people come by and sell him things. Stores picks up uh, his store picks up big deals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if you find the things that he has up for sale, you're going to do very, very well. <laughs> so take it away, Mr. Magazine. All right, I'm into toys, I'm into comics, uh, movies, anything. So here we go. We got a little bit of everything here. McFarlane makes all kinds of figures. This is from the Frank Miller Sin City movie, Marv. A $30 figure, but you can find these out there. They're very cool, very detailed. Now, are um, everything from that set roughly $30? Or, I mean, I'm sure there's some there, rare no, ones. There are some rare ones, yeah, but everything's going to be at least 25 bucks or more. So basically, yeah. if you see one of those out and somebody's asking 5 bucks on it, buy it. Grab it. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, as long as it isn't completely hammered. Well, even if it's loose for a dollar or two, it's still worth it because it's probably a $10, $15 loose if it's complete. Wow. Yeah. That's good to know, though, yeah. because, again, a lot of times you'll see stuff like that just out there, and, you know, right. you don't know what's good and what's bad. So Sin exactly. City, yeah. Yeah, buy $5 cool. and under, you oh, do well. There's your zoom in. Oh, nice. <laughs> Backwards. Hey, it's there. All right. And from my Victoria Trade collection that I purchased, oh, yeah. uh, this one went for 45 bucks. Very cool. I, I hear yeah. people are starting to call you Auction Professor Jr. with all the trade cards I, you're selling. I wish. I only wish I could be that. So Ayers, Hair, Vigor, Mother, Daughter. Okay, so that's kind of interesting because it probably doesn't say mother daughter on her anyway. Yeah, I would have rolled for the toilet because you know that's what it says right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, you got a front and a back picture. Yep. Um, all that kind of thing. Yeah. So that's kind of uh, how how did the how was the price arrived at? Was that an auction or was that a? Um, I think it came in. A, I think we had it for fifty or something like that. I might have taken forty bucks for it or something like that. But but where yeah. did the price come at? So um, my lister researches it. If there's none on there, depending on how. Um, detailed, I guess mm -hmm. it is. If it so, looks really, so really price good, it accordingly, like, yeah. like fifty bucks. So common stuff's going to be fifteen to twenty if it's on there. Uh, if it's common but not on there, like twenty-five to thirty. And then if it's not on there but looks a little more fancier, like something more, you know, that's uh, more interesting or mm -hmm. you know artwork, then she'll raise it up a little more. You know, like I said, they find the price. Even if you know, say she put a hundred on this, didn't sell. If they offer me fifty bucks, I'm going to take it anyway. So right, right, yeah. interesting. Yeah, very cool. All right, uh, Latina Magazine, Bella Thorne, which is six years ago, so a younger Bella Thorne, but she's definitely very popular. She was in the, doing Disney and Nickelodeon and all that back in the day. So Well, and that's the kind of thing right there. Um, you're, you're really changing things up today on us. Um, <laughs> it's been a tough couple of weeks. <laughs> because that's something rather that uh, you can find out there at sales, and exactly, that'll yep. definitely be, and it'll be thrown down in the bottom of a box, and it'll right. be a dollar yeah. or 50 cents, something rather yeah. like that. Now, did they have a mailing label or not? Uh, no label, no. No label, so that does help it a little bit, yeah. but still, you're going to find those things out there, and they're going to be dirt yeah. cheap. Yeah, and I got the 20 for it, so very cool. Yeah, plus shipping, yeah. so that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong and with this that. this was um, seven years ago, finally sold, so. Yeah, but still. Yeah, yeah it was, worth, it was worth, worth the wait. If you pay 50 <laughs> cents at a sale. <laughs> exactly. All right, this finally sold after a couple of years, but I thought it was very cool. I took a lower price, but like I said, it's been sitting for a couple of years. Uh, what Le is it? Levi Strauss, uh, I call it a custom rocker jacket with 50 pins. Um, a lot of, you know, musicians, bands, uh, some Playboy pins, buttons, so forth. Now, did you ever, what did it sell for? Uh, I took 55 on it, so half what I was asking. Did you ever think about pulling the pins off and selling them individually? You no. thought about it. Well, oh, yeah. I thought about it, but just the time involved. Well, once, it, well, see, I thought it was going to be a cool $100 piece two years ago. Uh, and I probably paid 20 30 bucks for it, you know. But, you know, you think it's going to sell like that. So once it's listed and it's in a box up on the shelf, you never think of, well, let me take, let me, you know, I didn't even know I still had that at this right. point. So, but if it was, you know, if it was a couple, you know, if it was a couple months ago, I would have waited or maybe decided something like that. But it's well, also time and, time and money. Time involved. and money, right. But the other problem, too, that I've always found is trying to list those pins you would obviously take pictures of them individually yeah i don't know if they're and they're hard to tell if if they're um the variety of them well it's hard to tell too if they're all identified yeah so now you've got this person over here you're going who is that right. so you're going to wind up with 10 of them that you can't identify yeah. um 
And then some of those things that look look rather small yeah. and try to get a good picture up on eBay. Yeah, right. So I can see why you did it that way, but yeah. the person that bought it, if they're going to break that up for some reason, they probably got a very, very good deal, which is good yeah. for them. You yeah. made money, and they're going to make so money. You should have took the Batman off, put it in my collection, but that's all right. I probably have one anyways. But. Oh, you'll be able to do it when they return it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Lastly. <laughs> I threw you off your game there for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lastly, what sells? Supplement sell. Uh, they do. Don't throw out your magazine supplements because I got 20 bucks for this one. No, I thought you were saying like something like nutritional supplements. Oh, well, all right. Well, <laughs> you're leading into that. I, I would just say supplements in general, you know, people generally toss them out. Right. So you can get good money for them because there's less around than the actual magazine, I would say. But this is muscle and fitness. Uh, 30 years That's old, actually roughly. a good point. I probably would not list that by itself because yeah. I'd be saying who wants that because it's. Yeah. Well, I bought this with a huge uh, magazine collection, muscle stuff, over in Poland, and I bought this stuff back in November, and I just got it recently from the ma- Poland mail, so, so and I think to- they're using surface mail still, because I just got this <laughs> stuff, but anyways, he was a big muscle collector, he was a bodybuilder, and he kept this for a reason, obviously I wasn't going to throw it out, put it up there and got 20 bucks. Can't argue with that. Now, I head on over to mine, um, something kind of interesting this didn't sell for much. I think I took a very low offer. I think eight dollars or something really like that. But I bring this up because this is interesting. Something that I did not know. And we try to. We are probably the most historical giving, give you historical nonsense <laughs> than any other reselling station. New York State Motor Vehicle Safety Responsibility Law Insurance brochure. I own a car, but I can't drive it. I can't let anyone drive it. I can't sell or transfer it. I can't give it away. I can't drive everyone else's car. All because I had an accident in New York State and had no insurance. Wow. Did you know in prior to 1942, you were not required to have insurance in New York State? Wow. That's crazy. So they changed yeah. the law in 1942 that you either had to get insurance or you had to put an $11,000 bond to up with the state. Wow. That was a different world back then. Just yeah. So I kind of put that up more just from the historical side. I, just, I, I was fascinated reading it because... Sure. You know, you're just talking to her about how, you know, injury and all that kind of stuff and just the right. terrible things that could happen. And how would you not have insurance? <laughs> Next thing we have, I don't know if you ever went to this restaurant or if it closed before your day. Lorenzo's Restaurant? No, I don't think so. It was an Italian yeah. restaurant in Rochester, 1961. But I think they were up into the 70s. Yes. You, you make it sound like I'm 80 years old. <laughs> That was 60 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah. um, well, no, I know they were open into the 70s and maybe oh, even into the 80s. Well, maybe when I was an infant. Uh, $24 I ended up getting out of it. So definitely list your menus. I know around Rochester, the Lorenzo's menus are common, or fairly common. I've had a number of them. But I got $24 out of a menu, and a lot of people wouldn't even list it. So just uh, letting you know that menus are something definitely worth listing. Sell. They do. The next thing, I am paper goy. But I did pick this up, and you were actually at the estate sale that I picked this up at. I bought it for the box more than anything else. Well, okay. the stuff inside the box ended up oh, selling as well. Very cool. Presidential pencils, 1970s. Wow, right. I think I took $16 on it uh, with free shipping, but I paid $5 for the box filled with pencils and everything like yeah, that. Very cool. So I can't argue with that. Um, you know, I did list all the presidents and all that kind of stuff. I think you had things like this when probably when you were a kid. Definitely had it when I was a kid. Not with the presidents. Though. I like the football. We baseball, had the football, yeah. baseball, that kind of stuff. Those so it cool. was the same kind of deal over there. Yeah. You know, nothing cooler than having a pink Andrew Jackson. <clears throat> I, I would have gotten shoved in the locker more than I did already. <laughs> and that was by the teachers. Uh, Lyndon Johnson was like having a Bengals pencil. Right? <laughs> no one wanted that one. No, that was pretty common over there. Um, nice. Nice. You made me laugh that time. Um, this next thing over here, I have seen two of these in my life. I saw one for sale on a rare book site for $100, which is what I asked. I took okay. $50. I saw one that sold for $20 a couple of years ago by a major magazine dealer on eBay. Oh. You've uh-huh. sold that before for twenty dollars. Oh, okay, wow, shame <laughs> on me. I took fifty dollar off around it overseas, so they ended up paying the shipping as well. Uh, Elsa Maxwell's Cafe Society magazine first issue, Zsa Zsa Gabor. Oh, nice. um, I don't believe you would mention it was first issue, but you sold it a number of years ago as well. Yeah. I think it was probably just in a pile of stuff, and you, and you sure. just kind of listed it. And like um, you would say, I still made money. You still made money. Um, kind of, kind of a neat little item over there, though. Next item we have, uh, we do Facebook posts every single day. Uh, take a look at them. they got interesting items. Um, you probably were too young to remember that storm, the uh, yeah. blizzard of 77. 
I don't remember. You don't oh, remember? I know there's a, there's a board game on it, correct? Yes, there that is. That I remember, but I do not remember that. Yep, so I put this up on the post. This ended up selling overnight, a lot of seven of them, for I think I took $30 on it. Okay. Uh, I bought it from a dealer that was selling out a lot of extra stock to me. Hmm. Cool. I just kind of had it. But yeah. I knew that would sell as being the main one. You know, the other ones are as well. The person may have bought it because yeah. they're a steel company, you know, work for them or something. Right, right. But that just is a nice cover there, historical document of a huge storm that happened 45 years or 43 years ago. Wow. So kind of a neat thing over there. Sure. And the last thing we have over here is with our, my attempted transition over to original art, yet another item. I'm going to show you, do not read the title right away. Okay. I want you to tell me what you would say. I mean, Oscar Cesar is the artist, so you're going to say Oscar Cesar. You're going to say original art, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Okay. But what would you use to describe this? Right? I mean, it's just a tough thing there to describe. Yeah. I mean, I like to say it's a baseball, but it's not a baseball. It's a, you know, shaped like a, a, a sphere, but yeah. is it just a round head? It's a globe. A globe, okay. Yeah, go. so I did... Francesco Severio, whose name must have been in there. Oh, yeah. that, that's who the gentleman is, so it would have yeah. said his name. But Sick World Globe in Bed. I mean, wow. it's Looking sometimes. Wow, that's too. Holy yeah. Wow. Sometimes you run into trouble trying to describe something or other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just put as many words up as I possibly could, just figuring, I don't know. But yeah. again, and, and look at how much better the zoom in works on that. Yeah, it's great. Definitely use the zoom yep. in if you can. Um, so hopefully that gave you some tips. Hopefully you enjoyed the stories. Do hit the like button down below. Comment if you could. Definitely we do answer all comments. We do appreciate your support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next video. Take care. Bye-bye.